Hello, uh, welcome back again. Uh, last video, I showed you how to make bingos. And this video, I'm going to show you how to make them more efficiently. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to stop trying to visualize our bingos by wasting moves. So here I can see that I've got my three in a row for my circle, yellow sort of circle pieces. Bear in mind, maybe a bit colorblind, but you get the idea. Now what I want to do is make sure that I have all my other pieces in the general area, and I'm going to format my plan to make sure it's efficient before I do it. So I'm going to start just visualizing this in my head instead of actually doing it now. So I can tell that, okay, I want to move these yellows across. across. So at least, you know, here's two clicks to move this yellow across. Uh, I've got to move this one across here. So that's one, two, three clicks. Uh, then I've got to move this blue somewhere, so if I move this here, I'm going to accidentally clear, so I don't want that, so that's the click there, and I've got to click that, so that's, what was that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for a bingo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my website, I'm just going to check the tips, see what it said. Um, let's see, we've got a bingo here, which is 24 points, but this isn't quite the one I was looking for. Um, I'll update this with the other one, so I'm going to look on the forums, as he's posted this in his forum, his forum thread. So I'm just going to look down to... Do, do, do. Do a quick search for TZZ. There we go. You posted it for building here. Right, so this will be available on the web on my tips when I do this. So this is his aim for how many clicks I should be doing this in. So he said a bingo. I should be aiming to do in six clicks for an incredible. Now I've just found a bingo in what was it, seven clicks or so. So this isn't going to get me an incredible, but for right now, you know, we're getting well on the way there. So I'm going to do my clicks. And there's my bingo. I'm going to start my pattern matching again. So look, I've got my three blues in a row. And I've also got all the horizontal things in place. I've got these blues here, and I've got these whites and blues. So I don't need to visualize to make sure the pieces are there, because they quite clearly are. So now I'm just going to see how many clicks this is going to take me. So I'm going to one click here. Um, let's think, I don't know, two, three, four clicks. Now he said you need to do six clicks for an incredible. So clearly these even out. So if I start clicking like this, I'm right on my way to an incredible if I can do this fast enough so that I don't waste those 10 seconds that I mentioned earlier. Remember, 10 seconds idle means you waste a move. So one important trick that you can use is try and do the, click these very slowly. So, you know, space the moves apart and then you can start thinking about what you want to do next. If your indicator is going nice and fast, you've got no reason to try and you know, make loads of combos. You just want to make sure you don't raise those 10 second moves. Okay, so one more bingo. Again, I'm going to start visualizing it. Uh, if I move this across here, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's quite a few on this one. So, to be quite honest, I wouldn't take this, you know, if I was going for an ultimate builder. 
However, for right now, I'm just going to keep it simple. You know, visual. I'll show you what I would have done, what it would have done. So, one. And that now, this is a very important thing that you need, should learn. Is if I just started moving the blue across, now I've got to basically undo this move. See when I move this blue across. So this is why I'm going to start visualizing things in advance. Because that has just cost me a move or two. And we don't want to be doing that, you know, we want to be doing it as efficiently as possible. So I'll start looking around for another potential bingo. And quite frankly, I don't see one. But the Navy bought ship is about to port anyway. So remember, you don't have to do bingos all the time. If you can't visualize it and see that you're getting close to that, you know, six click mark to make your bingo, quite simply, do not go for it. You want to get it as efficiently as you can. So these bingos will quite often you know, be spaced apart by three by threes and you know, three in a rows. Bulging, it's not the case that, you know, you start off by doing the simple close and then as you start to improve, you only do bingos. That's definitely not the case at all. All I'm trying to show you here is how to do bingos as well as the other things. So first of all, I always, you know, look, look for the most efficient thing. So if I could do a 3x3, three three, for example, in one click then you know, that's far better than doing a bingo in eight clicks. So if you mess around spending ages doing a bingo, you know, it, it's just big for the sake of big. So if I look at my options on this board, for example, I've got a one click three by three in this bottom corner. But if I was trying to you know, just go for bingos, then I might say, hmm, look, okay, look, there's a nice potential bingo set up here. I could, I don't know, move these greens across to uh, pull up this yellow piece. So that, that's two or three clicks gone already. There's four, there's five. Whoops, you know, I've just made a mistake. Uh, let's try and fix that. Okay, and there's my click up, gone. Whereas I could have gotten many more points by just doing this efficient 3x3 three three in the first place. So don't fall into the trap of thinking bigger is better. It's always important to do it efficiently. And if you do have a combo like this set up at the top of the board, always have a quick scan below it. Because if I click this bingo right now, I've just wasted quite a good opportunity here for a 3x3. Three three. So I'll do that one first. I'll have another look around. Now make sure I'm not wasting any opportunities. And then I'll go for the bingo. And that's it. That's how you make your bingos more efficient. And on the next video, we will go on to looking how to make sea donkeys.